it takes an average hacker only a few moments to launch multiple brute force attacks on your login page. While the WordPress login page is secure, it needs additional security to ensure that it does not break when being bombarded by such attacks. We have shared nine such steps in this video to make sure that hackers cannot easily gain access to your site. You can use the chapters below to quickly navigate the video, but I'd also recommend watching the video linked above because it's a complete security guide for protecting all aspects of your site. First, let me humbly welcome you to our channel. We help you find your website mojo by sharing new videos every week to fix issues and improve performance of your business website. We've built multiple successful WordPress plugins that manage more than a million sites today and we'll share all of our insights with you. So hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on our weekly videos. Step number one, use a complete security plugin. This is by far the easiest and most effective step that I can share with you. There are a handful of known security plugins in the market and you obviously need to select the best bang for your buck. As a team that has built a popular security plugin, let me give you some insider information. There are only 11 non-negotiable features that a security plugin needs to have to properly protect your site. So when you're buying a security plugin, do remember to cross-check once how their performance is in these 11 parameters. You can check the link above for a detailed comparison between the top security plugins. If you want to save time, I'll give you the summary right here. WordFence Premium almost won the comparison, but lost in the end to Malcare. Because, number one, WordFence was too expensive at $490 per cleanup, plus an annual subscription fee of $99. Whereas Malcare offered unlimited cleanups and all security features for an annual fee of just $99. Secondly, WordFence's malware scanner only catches malware that's already in their database, which is a limitation because it takes time to update that. Malcare, on the other hand, has a self-learning algorithm that gets updated multiple times every day by analyzing over 200,000 sites. Finally, WordFence themselves agree that their free firewall is only 60% effective and you have to pay to unlock it fully, whereas Malcare offers a fully functional firewall, malware scanner and login protection for free. Yes, for free. So you can literally get the best protection for your login page right now for free by installing Malcare from the link in the description. Before we move forward, if any of you watching this video wonder in the back of your mind if I'm being biased or am I telling the truth, I get it. I would wonder the same thing in your position. What I can promise you is that I've written the script myself and every fact I share has come from manually testing each plugin. But don't take my word for it. Try each product I mentioned and I can guarantee you that you'll arrive at similar conclusions. With that said, let's now discuss the next step to protect your login. Page. Step number two, ensure strong passwords. This sounds like a common sense tip, but most people still don't set strong passwords. If your password doesn't look like this, your login page is definitely vulnerable. Here are five easy steps to set a powerful password. Number one, use a mix of small case characters, capital case letters, numbers, and special characters in your password and make it long, at least more than 10 characters. Number two, update your passwords frequently. Number three, don't use dictionary words in your passwords. And most importantly, number four, don't reuse passwords across different accounts. Now, if you have a lot of accounts, following the above four steps can become really tedious. So I'd recommend using password managers to generate and manage your passwords. Step number three, use two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is a mechanism that requires two keys for any user to get access to your site. One is your password and the other one is generated in real time and sent to you through email or message. This helps secure your website from brute force attacks because even if the bots manage to break a password, they can't find the second key and hence they can't break into your site. Here is a good plugin for this. Step number four, cap login attempts. As we discussed earlier, hackers can deploy an army of bots to brute force attack your website. Even if the bots are unable to crack your password, the huge surge in login requests can overwhelm your website server and lead to your website breaking down. The quickest way to avoid this is to limit the login attempts made to your website server. Our security plugin Malcare does this automatically, but if you're not a user, you can also download a separate plugin for this as well. Step number five, regularly review user accounts. If you have multiple users on your WordPress site, any one of them can prove to be the weak link that lets malware in. Here are some safe user management practices that you should employ. Number one, delete old and unused accounts on a regular basis. Number two, check user privileges frequently and make sure that there are no sudden privilege escalations. Number three, keep a track of user accounts and delete any suspicious accounts that you have not created. Number four, update all credentials regularly. Step number six, limit user privileges. Another big security concern when it comes to user accounts is privileges. Often, users are given undue privileges which can prove to be a big gap in your website security. For instance, if an editor is given admin privileges to make some changes for a particular post, chances are that these privileges won't be rescinded once the job is done. 
In this case, you have an editor with admin privileges and if a hacker gains access to this editor's account, they can take over your entire site. The best course of action is to follow the principle of least privileges. It basically states that any particular user should only be given access to the required privileges for their job and no more. Step 7. Get SSL Certificate When you install an SSL certificate on your site, all communications to and from your website server is encrypted. This means that if anyone intercepts any data that is being sent to you or is being sent by you, they cannot make sense of the data because it has been encrypted. When you notice a lock in front of the website URL, it means that it is SSL secure. Google also delists sites that are not SSL secure. So if you don't have one, I'd recommend watching the video linked above to quickly get it. Step number eight, enable auto logouts. Depending on the preferences you have set, WordPress automatically logs you out after 48 hours to 14 days. However, when you leave a session unattended on one of the forgotten tabs on your window, it can give hackers a window to gain access. Cookie hijacking is a common technique used by hackers to take over user sessions by gaining access to the cookies in your browser. In order to avoid this, you can enable auto logouts by using a plugin so that a user is logged out after a certain set of time. Step number nine, disable XML RPC. XML RPC is a WordPress feature that allows you to publish content remotely. You may need to keep it enabled if you use WordPress app, Jetpack plugin, trackbacks and pingbacks. While XML RPC is a secured feature, it is often used by hackers for brute force attacks to gain access to your site. If you do not require the feature, it is best to disable XML RPC. I'll add an article in the description to walk you through how to do it. And that's it. Those are the nine steps to protect your login page. However, if your website has already been hacked, you can check some of the videos that I'm linking here to quickly fix common issues. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.